Morning guys, Chris here. Um, not a bit late to this, we're going to do the Smash Brothers Direct reaction. Um, bit of a crazy day yesterday and my internet started playing up last night so it was a bit, bit laggy so I didn't want to um, risk having lots of pauses during the presentation. Um, don't know anything that came out because I haven't looked at any of the YouTubes or reactions or anything. Um, Interesting to see how how many characters we get because um, I know there was that Grinch leak saying seven. Whether or not we get all seven, I don't know. But there's a couple on there I definitely like. Um, I really like to see Shadow. Um, yeah, definitely like to see Shadow. Um, and Banjo would be a great get, I think. That's assuming that leak's real. Um, but anyway, we're we'll gonna get straight into this. And here we go. Sort of footage. Take off the new characters. The ultimate direct. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters. Uh, pretty impressive rest. Pretty impressive rest, Luster. Our entire team has worked really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. Okay, doing the final fights now. Okay, going to do like a massive video. Boxing, we're going to get as an arms representative for Springman, maybe. Is that Ken? Okay, yeah, so that's Ken. Bring it on. Seems like he's an echo of Ryu. CG looks really good. I really like these trailers. Okay, who's that? Yeah, I don't think it's Shadow because the eyes don't look right for Shadow. This is an Echo trailer. Okay, there's a sound fast. Fireball. Is that in. S oh! Looks like the Incineroar. Yeah, Incineroar. So that's one strike against the Grinch League. So, you want to fight fire with fire, huh? <clears throat> Here's like some cool moves. Very wrestler like. Let's call it a final smash. Okay, so no one, no new characters or teasers there. There's two in that trailer. Three, ten, it's in a row. So, any more spaces? It's got a small space, but I don't think. Hmm. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Yeah, so there's Echo. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. Got to get that in there. 
Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Okay. Here's how he'll turn his, from Ryu. Uh, Street Fighter 2. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. So visual touches. A couple of hits in that one. Hell wheel. Focus attack. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command. Okay, so there's more kicks and punches, he's a bit maybe. Than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Okay, so speed Just boost. like Ryu, he has two final smashes. Okay. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryu Ken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. That's pretty cool. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shifu Jin Raikya. That's cool. We hope the stream doesn't now freeze. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to it. Okay, so it's a bit of a show off. Additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This attack can be very it's pretty cool, good, good move set. Up, it's easy to sell oh, this I'm gonna do that so often. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. That's if cool. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Very cool. Its down special is revenge. Looks really good, actually. Cap design. Powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of counterattack. And its <laughs> final smash, Max Militia. This move song. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z move it's based on. That's a cool final smash. Okay, so that's it. Finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. Oh, I appeal the Grinch League. There's a lot of characters. Okay, so eight. It is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64. Wow, so lots of characters unlock. And once you've unlocked them all, it'll look like this. Oh, fair enough. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number and the order they joined the series. That's pretty I cool. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. Yeah, it's going to surprise a few people. Um, I think DLC is definitely a shoe in now then. Ink and Amiibo looks good. Probably not going to get that one because I've got a few Super 2 Amiibos already. Really looks cool. I have got him ordered. And the Wolf one's good. I did see Wolf. The Wolf Amiibo at the EGX Expo. I had him on the Smash by the Stand. Okay, so coming out with the game. Okay, so February for Ice Climbs looks awesome. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. They're cool. Tune Link. Oh, Young Link. I have to get Young Link. Give me a fist cash. The collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Oh, they're like some trophies. Really difficult to develop too. Wow, no more trophies. That's a big thing. You can plug and do stickers or something. And we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters from a variety of video game worlds. We have to do something. Here's what we came up with. They're called spirits. Oh, spirits. Okay, so spirits mode theory is right. And I don't mean the spooky kind. To put it simply, these okay. spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. Okay. It's uh, kind of like trophies, but we're more used to them. Super Smash Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of imagination. 
Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, that's cool. Impossible combinations of characters. Bit of history to the Smash Brothers series. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. Okay. Except the fighters are turned the into spirits, spirit. unable to return to the real world. Oh dear. This is a spirit. Fighters can join Knuckles. forces with spirits to enhance their powers. Judd, Moon. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. Yeah, loads of different characters. There are several classes of okay, spirits. Silver's in. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Okay, it's different Especially strengths. strong ones are called aces. And some are in a league of their own. Legend. Okay. One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. She's got like... A primary spirit can be added to the has it equipped. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can okay, it's like a stacking system. You can build up people's strengths. Cappy's there. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary okay. spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. The okay. main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. Okay, so that's how you actually get them. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Oh, he's going to select. So I'll read you back. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kind of sort of similar to the opposing spirit. Okay. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car. Okay, so little challenges and like uh, specific battles to unlock the spirits. Which I was going to go, um, go down with a lot of people. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting something a bit deeper or maybe more story focused than this. Those are pretty cool. Oh, they like stamina. Your yeah, HP's going down. That'll be interesting. Okay, some of them are stamina based, that's good. This is like a mixture of different rules, that's... Yeah, so he's got Kane Edge, the thing that can cause loads of damage. Yeah, time stamina battles. Yeah, that looks like it'd be difficult. That's cool. Look how he's in Sonic. <laughs> to represent the Able Sisters. Because he's been up against Sonic, I don't know who that guy is. Okay, so you have to get rid of the Rob and get rid of Ben, get rid of Dr. Mario. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so you have to complete the different missions. Okay, what's that? Okay, so you have to capture the spirit after you've beaten the challenge. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you okay. capture that spirit. So you can just Click to restart, or do they come up randomly? Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong okay, against shield. Okay, it's got shield. different... Shield is strong against attack. Like a weapon it's triangle thing. I'm not gonna lie, I never really got to grips with the grabbing technique in Smash Bros. I've never done a grab, I don't think, in the game. 
Tell you how to do that. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. Okay, so that's. With spirits on that's your side, good. there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Yeah, there is a lot of depth to this. But I know is what people were expecting, which is going to be interesting to see the reaction. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. Okay, so you can level them up. You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, it's important okay. to stay. And by combining so these cores, you can summon a new spirit. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These seem like a lot of chaotic. Chaotic's a group. But each team could be somebody's dream come true. John? Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send so out many spirits, characters, just let them do their thing. I was going to pretty do it. They came on doing the Certain leveling up while you're not playing. Masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Okay. So you can never up your amiibo. Just bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. But to be fair, I kind of just it's level up my amiibo just for playing for the game, really. Series. But just how many would you guess there are? And there is a lot. Because I was being rehabbed by the last direct. <laughs> Okay, so when you're fighting spirits, the fire is always on. Lion King vibes. That's pretty cool, fire smash with Yoshi. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. That's pretty cool. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Okay. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. Okay, to get more rewards, you need to have a weaker team. Press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. Okay. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. Okay, so you recommend stuff to you can try and balance out. Other players who are using spirits. Okay. So the way spirit types interact in battle. Think carefully when building your team. Or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. That's cool. There's no more stress strategy there. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DL <coughs> button to pull up the dashboard and select Okay, so it's just done through the side menu. That's pretty cool. Online. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into Okay, so not, they're not... Instead, um, matchmaking is based on three factors. You're not doing the two different modes. For rules. online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered, so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all okay, players cool. fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules, and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Okay. Double Smash Bros. I think it was in the last one. I didn't really follow much. I didn't do much online, to be honest. Okay. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999. Okay, so that ranks you out of the players. Your will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global Smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, 
You can set a GSP score for each fighter. Okay. The fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly That's cool. destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected. So please don't do that. Okay, so I hope so hopefully you don't mess up As and fall off too much. Game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred Okay, goals, so it's like RB against European competitors mainly then. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. Okay. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Once okay. your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Okay, so it's like the best of the best players. Okay, so you have to make your own smash tag, that's cool. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag, even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. That's cool. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. That's cool. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. That's awesome, you can have to sit there waiting for, for a match. Spectator mode, okay, so you can Spectator watch other people playing. So you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. That's cool. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against That's two cool. player teams with the same setup. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for okay, so how you can join your friends. You can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends That's where cool. you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. Smart phone up. Okay, so they're pushing the app. You can voice chat with others in battle arenas. It may become an essential tool for some players. So do like the app, but I've never used it for chat. Okay. Once the service starts, we'll okay, is that just your pictures and videos, or is it friends as well? I'd be interested to see whether it's just yours. Shadow, oh no, don't be... Oh no, Shadow! There's no way from Knights. Well, Shadow's a bit of a, bit of a blow, not gonna lie. I thought they were going to go a bit more with the Echo Fighters, because I did say they're easy to develop and uh, we expect more of them, so I thought we would get more. Yeah, that was a weird one. Isaac, okay, so uh, yeah, Grinch Link is definitely not, not true. Is your RCD confirmed? Oh, Thromp. That's cool. Oh no. It's gonna happen for me on a big DLC. Oh, that's a shame.
Okay, so that's the guy from Mega Man. That's got a fire fire. Fire Emblem. Oh, there's a guy from Art Academy. That's pretty cool. Okay, another Street, street, uh, street Fighter character is an assist. Akira. Why well, looks like Virtual Fighter 1 style? Well, it's Saturday, right? Alright. I would prefer it looked a bit more polished, but. The total number of assist trophies is. So 59 assist trophies. Okay, it's more assist trophies than Pokemon. Okay. To review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open okay, the yeah. dashboard and look in here. Controls are good, I'm going to look up how to do throws and grabs. That's cool. Entry smash? Why well, don't I want to call you 100 man? Smash. Okay. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. Okay, so we'll just cycle through the characters you got available. You can save the replay data of your battles. Replays. And now you can create videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. That's a cool little thing to have. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Okay, challenge mode is back. That's cool. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. That's Press pretty the cool. To check out each picture. Enjoy. The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. That is really in depth. In depth. Okay. Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, Chop. and items for spirits mode. If you're collecting music, okay, so music is in the shop. shop to find the ones you want instead of just relying on challenges. That's cool. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the okay. dashboard. Okay. <coughs> This one game supports 11 languages. Okay. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. The fighter names are very cool. specific to each language. That's pretty cool. <laughs> These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Okay, there's a lot of little things that you don't particularly need to see, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I think I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen Stage Builder and uh, Target Smash. It's either there being, uh, being cut. That's pretty cool. If 
you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Okay. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. Okay, he bands out a bit. Will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. That's fair enough. You can customize your Mii fighters and change their outfits. Yeah, so you got Mii fighters. Outfits, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. That's cool. Speaking of Mii fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Okay, some more deconfirmations, maybe. Oh, cool, you can from Breath of the Wild, that's cool. Okay, Splatoon style, uh, Splatoon 2 based. Love that cap, I'm glad you got a cap like that. It's pretty cool. Moving girl. Chibi Robo. That's cool. I'm not sure who that guy is. Custom Robo, maybe? Oh god, it's a lava robot. <laughs> oh god, I had to get lava in there somewhere. Something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. Okay, DLC. DLC. But there are even more post While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Brothers series. I guess hey, who is going to be? The opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. There's a guy, new characters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. Okay. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. At the same time, Fighters we will Pass. Offer the okay. Fighters pass. That's five fighters. Okay, so doing at least five characters. When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are Fair confident enough. in its value will purchase it. I probably will get that because I do like a lot of the characters. For all five sets. So we're about now that twenty-three. Trophy pound, I think. I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. <laughs> By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighters Pass. Yeah. Don't be Oh, Rex. It's a me sword fighter outfit based on Yeah, so Rex isn't going to be a uh, DLC character. Wow, so a lot of the talk from our recent stuff probably isn't going to be considered. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. Okay, so they're going to start working on it after the main game again. I'll release it across a year. On a separate note. Okay, so it's going to be like a soundtrack. So I love to get in the soundtrack CD, but I've got both the last two games, the 3DS and Wii one. Okay, what we got? A confusion thing. What's that? It's a Mario based thing. What's the point of not doing that? It's this trophy or something. Oh, 
Okay. That's not expected character. No one leaked that. Yeah, no, um, I think that is going to be, considering some other characters which are rumoured, I think that's going to be a bit of a shock for people. I'm not entirely sure how well it's going to go down. It looks pretty cool though. Okay, Peter Piranha. Okay. That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And not wow, that's not anyone told anyone expected. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, and perform long range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering Okay. We're also creating an amiibo. It has that a is nice cool. curved form to it. Okay, so he's out in February, so the character will be out before then, if not that date. Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Goodbye. Okay. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. Okay, pre-purchase for the bundle, for the game and pass bundles. So hopefully I can get the pass separately. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Yeah, I'm in Europe. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website. Okay, so have the full roster available. And more. No demo or smash test yet, though. That's a bit surprising. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. Okay. But before we go... I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing... Has he dropping the adventure mode now? Okay. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? Okay, so you're getting a bit of story I'll show behind you it. How it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Don't let us CG. get away. So there's really gonna be cutscenes. It's causing the whole roster like that. Master Hand. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Okay. Looking a little crazy. Shark's making a vision. Oh, see that, I think. Wow, they're going Avenger style. Infinity War, eat your heart out. So, you know, the original eight characters survive, do you reckon? I know, because Link's not survived. Snake. Here's Kirby. Okay, we say eight miles an hour. <coughs> That's taking side. That's cool. Yeah, going proper Infinity War style, but 
everyone goes. That's pretty cool. Pretty brutal. Is that it? Okay, so there's the spirits. In comes Kirby. Wow, vocals. Kirby to the rescue. That is cool, that looks really good. Look okay, at that map. Okay, so making clones while it's all right. Okay, that's... Oh, wow. That is cool. Yeah, it's basically you have to take on... Possess clones. Is that how you unlock characters? Or was that through a different way? Oh. You just need to say how you unlock characters or whether you unlock characters through playing the main game. There's Shantai's a spirit. Okay, that's how I'm I'm not spirits. Raphalos. Is that something from uh Tub Space? They bring back most Tub Space bosses. World of Light, okay. Yeah, so it looks like it's a single player kind of story mode. Well that is it. Well, I've definitely pulled the uh, rug from under me a couple of times there. Um, not as many characters as I thought. I thought we were going to get a few more. Um, gutted about Shadow. Um, I really thought it would be a shoo-in for uh, Sonic Echo Fighter. Um, get another Sonic character in the game. as a playable character. Um... Yeah, I think that's my main hope going in. I thought we were going to get Shadow, Shadow and Ken as Echo Fighters. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, that, that didn't, that's not happening, unfortunately. Um, DLC would be interesting to see where they can go. Um, I didn't see... I might have missed it, but I didn't see anything to do with Gino or... definitely see Banjo, so I think they're still contenders for DLC. Um, so it will be interesting to see um, who makes it into the five DLC characters. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. I thought it was going to be a bit more character heavy. Um, the complete removal of trophies kind of got me a bit because trophies have been in most of the recent games. So. Um, they kind of like a staple. But in saying that, they're doing spirits and uh, having spirits, having like spirits replace trophies, and they kind of help develop the character. That kind of kind of make a good fit, I guess. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's a weird one. What do you think, guys? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I'm so hyped for the game. Like what I played at EJX was great. A lot of fun. So um, I'm definitely still looking forward to it. Um, really intrigued by the world of light stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, it just looks like it's hundreds of spirits that'd be pretty cool it'd be interesting to see if they have got the other modes that weren't shown off like target smash and 
Um, home run. Home run wasn't there. And that is one of the big... Um, I like mean, my mates spend ages playing uh, home run, trying to get the the furthest, uh, furthest distance. So I'm kind of surprised if that doesn't make it in, but obviously they've not um, not shown it off. So unless they had it after release of the extra content, but just yeah, there's a couple of things there which. The staples in Smash Brothers games that they didn't show off, so it'd be interesting to see if they actually do make it in. But, um, I guess time will tell for that. Right, let me know your thoughts about the, the game and the presentation, with your thoughts below. Um, just a quick recap I've got three confirmed characters um, Ken and Cinderella are the last um, characters in the base game. So that's like completing the characters you get on day one. If you buy the fighters pass, you get um, Rex's me fighter costume, which is another another kind of sad point because I think he would have been good as a DLC fighter. For the reasoning for not having his bit weak, because his game got announced before they did the planning for the characters, doesn't mean he couldn't have been a DLC character in my eyes. Unless they have got the five DLC characters planned out already. Which is possible, but obviously they haven't started working on them yet. Um, and obviously Piranha Plant is your early adopter bonus. I imagine you'll probably become a charged, like, paid for fighter after that limited time. Because I'm getting a physical version, I need to double check how to... Uh, How to register my game with the gold uh, points in to get them. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too difficult. But anyway, that's my re reaction to the direct. Um, pretty solid overall, I think. Um, as I am quite shocked by how few characters. I don't, I don't think I should have been shocked really, because uh, Sakurai did say that. He thinks he announced too many too early. Uh, it might be disappointing who's got who's left. So uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are thinking, oh yeah, no, he's just he's just saying that, so don't expect too much. But that quite actually was uh, being truthful. So so yeah, it's a uh, it's a weird one. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, until next time, speak to you soon.